Epictetus believed that our reactions, not external events, shape our emotions. No matter how hard you try to help others, if they lack the motivation to change, your efforts will be in vain. Your willingness to be there for others is a rare trait in the modern world. Sometimes your willingness to support others can lead to positive outcomes and bring about change in their lives. However, it's important to understand that you cannot force someone to change if they don't want to. Change must come from within and from their own desire. Before you embark on a confrontation with difficult challenges, let patience clarify more clearly. Through this video, we will convey valuable lessons on recognizing strong signals that indicate you're approaching your ultimate goal. Don't rush through. Watch until the end to gain a clearer understanding before taking action. Today, we will discuss different types of people who, for various reasons, do not want to be helped and often need to face challenges on their own. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss important information. Number one, those stuck on life's negatives. Some individuals consistently perceive the glass as half empty, a mindset that contrasts with the classical philosophy cherished by ancient thinkers. They valued maintaining composure and confronting challenging times with strength and gratitude. It's crucial to acknowledge both the positive and negative aspects of life to sustain a balanced mindset. While everyone experiences bad days and emotions like anger or sadness, fixating solely on the negative overlooks life's beautiful moments. This exclusive focus on negativity adds darkness to one's life, hindering the appreciation of the world's beauty. Some people specialize in concentrating on the negative, and assisting them may feel like an unwinnable battle. When they share their difficulties, the natural inclination is to help, but it appears they present a new problem for every solution offered. Their negativity can gradually impact your mood, resembling the experience of watching news on TV. News often emphasizes ongoing disasters worldwide, creating an impression that the world is haunted by constant challenges. Despite proposing numerous solutions, it may seem that those who focus on the negative don't genuinely seek help. Instead, they enjoy complaining and seeking attention. They might even feel uneasy if their problems miraculously disappear because they seem to derive satisfaction from having a chaotic array of issues to discuss. Some individuals habitually discuss their problems as if life consists solely of challenges, addressing financial issues, parenting difficulties, relationship problems, or job disappointments. Helping those who perpetually complain about every aspect of their lives may not yield a significant difference, and they may not genuinely desire assistance. Maintaining a positive spirit and energy might be more beneficial for yourself. Redirect your energy toward those who genuinely value your advice and aim to improve. Otherwise, there's a risk of inadvertently adopting a negative outlook, mirroring the friend you attempted to assist without even realizing it. Number two, people who never admit their mistakes. These individuals have difficulty admitting when they are wrong, indicating a lack of introspection and humility, qualities highly valued for personal development by philosophers like the Stoics. People of this type often assert that it's not their fault and may attribute challenges to mere bad luck. It is important for them to recognize their mistakes, learn from them, and think before they act, considering the impact of their actions on others. When things don't go as planned, they tend to blame something or someone else, never taking responsibility themselves. They may believe that their choices don't affect others, or worse, they simply don't care about the consequences. In reality, it is challenging to help them because they are resistant to admitting their faults. If something goes wrong due to their decisions, they typically deny any responsibility, frequently saying, I didn't do that. Attempting to guide these individuals towards humility might prove to be a futile effort as they resist positive change. 
When faced with complex and challenging situations, they consistently resort to blaming others or external factors. For instance, if they fail an exam, they might blame the teacher instead of taking responsibility for their own actions. In the case of a car accident, they may act nonchalant and attribute it to the weather or some unforeseeable factor, ignoring their own carelessness. In scenarios like a messy house, they often provide reasons for their work and refuse to acknowledge their negligence. It is recommended to step back if persistent efforts to show them a better way are met with resistance, as these individuals often make excuses and may attempt to drag others down with them. Keeping a distance from them is advised while it is still possible. Number three. Number four. The opportunists. Understanding others deeply is a unique and admirable human quality. Stoics valued the ability to see the world with empathy, connecting with others' emotions without passing judgment. However, it's essential to be cautious of those who exploit this kindness. Some individuals view empathy as a weakness and may feign friendship for personal gain. To recognize such individuals, observe their actions. Genuine friends seek help when genuinely needed. While those with ulterior motives regularly request favors, even for tasks they could handle independently. Some people skillfully make you feel guilty, initially praising you as a great friend and then asking for constant assistance. While it's acceptable to ask for help occasionally, these individuals exploit your time consistently. Despite your reluctance, they make you feel obligated to assist. Even after multiple instances of help, they show no inclination to change, believing someone will always come to their aid. It's advisable to distance yourself from such individuals without harboring guilt. Remember, your primary concern should be yourself and fulfilling commitments you've made. Number five, those who are betrayers. Betrayers are individuals who shatter your trust by disclosing your secrets or engaging in dishonest actions that harm relationships. Some people have a track record of being untrustworthy, leading to suspicion and resentment. Their history of betrayal makes it challenging for others to trust them again. Rebuilding trust with someone who has a betrayal, history is akin to constructing a house without assurance of stability and safety. This process demands time, effort, and patience to overcome the consequences of betrayal and forge a stronger relationship. When dealing with someone with a history of betrayal or dishonesty, exercising caution is crucial. You can establish clear boundaries, communicate your expectations for the relationship, and rebuild trust gradually, step by step. Trust is precious, like a gemstone, and requires protection. Surrounding yourself with people who have a history of reliability and honesty is essential for maintaining a strong and healthy relationship. Number six. People who expect the world to favor them. There are individuals who anticipate the world to favor them, believing they deserve special treatment without earning it. Some think that their appearance entitles them to have others work for them. This attitude makes helping them challenging because they often exploit situations and feign distress when things don't go their way, even with those who have assisted them. Consider the story of Alex and Jack. Alex always expects everyone to cater to his desires, considering himself special. In contrast, Jack follows stoic philosophy, respecting others and believing that respect and rewards must be earned. When both applied for a job, Jack worked hard for success, while Alex expected favorable conditions without contributing much. Jack received recognition and promotion, while Alex faced difficulties and dissatisfaction. Alex refused help and continued expecting others to do things for him. Eventually, Alex realized the need for change when he faced the consequences of his attitude. This story illustrates how stoic philosophy can guide one to lead a more meaningful life by respecting others, working diligently, and facing reality with clarity. Number seven, those who only think of themselves. 
Individuals who only think of themselves often believe that everything revolves around them. For instance, if you discuss poor traffic conditions in your city with someone of this type, they might dismiss it as a non-issue simply because they haven't faced commuting difficulties in an area with convenient transportation. However, this can be frustrating for you if you deal with daily traffic jams, congestion, and wasted time in commuting. Moreover, when you share good news such as landing a new job, they may overshadow your happiness by talking about their dissatisfaction with their current job. This lack of empathy and willingness to listen can undermine happiness and connection in the relationship. So my friends, Stoicism is a philosophy centered on aligning with nature. Building strong relationships and taking responsibility can guide individuals to better understand themselves and enhance their lives. By embracing these teachings, we embark on a journey toward a more meaningful and harmonious life. Above all, let's maintain our unwavering faith in Stoic philosophy and our relentless pursuit of personal growth. To access a wealth of valuable Stoic wisdom and receive updates on new content, remember to click the subscribe button below. Please take a moment to like and share this video, spreading the principles of Stoicism and contributing to the creation of a purposeful community. We sincerely appreciate your support for our channel. Continue your journey towards becoming a better version of yourself. Thank God. Uh...